Today we're going to go through the Hendon version 2 new controller from start to finish. So first we're going to switch on the heater for the first time to indicate what happens when first switching the screen on. See all the lights are illuminated for a couple of seconds whilst it's going through the startup process. There's a couple of numbers displayed. These can be ignored as it just indicates certain parameters into the heater. Once it's switched on, it will go to the last known setting, which in this case um, is displayed on the screen. We'll start with the unit being off. So to switch on uh, the display, we press the right button, which is the on off symbol. To change the temperature, uh, so first of all, this is the inlet temperature. That's the current pool temperature. And this is the outlet temperature. That's what's leaving the heat pump. That indicates that it's heating. And these two, the difference between them is used for commissioning to ensure the flow rate is correct. This can be anywhere between one and four degrees. If the display um, illumination decreases, you need to wake up the screen just by tapping the right button to continue changing the settings. There are other things on the display such as the timer in the bottom left corner, the mode in the top, and the percentage in the top right corner of the compressor, and the power setting on the right. To change the mode, press the M. There are three modes to choose from. Automatic, heating, and cooling. Other things can be changed is the power. For noise sensitive areas and lower running speed, you can change between medium and high speed. To change the temperature, simply press up. It will display the current set point and continue to press up and down to select the right temperature. Once that's set, leave it for a couple of seconds and it will revert back to the current temperature of the pool. To change the timer on the bottom left corner and to set time, we use the clock button. First to change the time, press and hold for three seconds and release to hear a beep. You have to release to hear the beep after three seconds. The timer now will flash and is free to go up in single increments by tapping or in 10 minutes increments by pressing and holding. Once you've set the temp the time, press and hold the timer button again for three seconds and it will be set. If you want to set a timer, either it can run on flow or if you actually want to set a timer on the heater, press and hold the clock button for 10 full seconds. Once it's completed, you will hear a beep and it will illuminate on the screen the clock and the on. The current on time is 8.51, and I want to repeat this every single day. So I want to have a repeat symbol around the on button. Once that's completed, I press the, the power button, which will then go to the next stage, which is the off. It's now off every day at 5 p.m. Again, I want to repeat that, so I want to have the repeat symbol around the off. So now every day it will repeat from 8.51 till 5 p.m. Once that's completed, I press the power button to return to the main screen. The timer will now be displayed in the bottom left corner again and the on and off symbols to indicate that the timer function is set. Other features are Wi-Fi. If you want to activate the Wi-Fi, first download and install the mobile application, which can be found in the installation manual. To activate the binding process, follow the on-screen instructions. And then once ready, press and hold the power symbol for three seconds. When you let go, the symbol will beep and will start flashing fast in the top 
section of the screen. If you need to reset the Wi-Fi settings on the controller, if you change your router or settings need to be changed, press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. So just first I'll wake the screen. Press and hold for 15 seconds until the symbol at the top changes from a fast flash to a slow flash. This will stay on the screen for around one minute and then disappear from the screen, indicating that the Wi-Fi has been deactivated and is ready to go to a new phone or a new router. That's the Marimac Hendon version 2 controller.